October 15, 1968. The place, Mexico City. One of the two favorites to win the 800 meters is Wilson Kiprigit of Kenya. Kiprigit won the bronze medal four years before in Tokyo. The other favorite, number 105, Ralph Dubell of Australia, who will attempt to become the first Australian to win the 800 meters since Edwin Flack won the event 72 years before in Athens. Leading up to the games, Dubell has been plagued with injuries. His coach, Franz Stample. On the plane, his foot puffed up to enormous proportions. And he thought, well, this is it. You know, I've, I've had it. He came into Mexico City, and within a day, the whole lot disappeared. The swelling, the pain, everything is gone. I tried on um, spikes about three weeks before I left and ran a number of good time trials. And I was fit as I thought I could be. And then once I got to Mexico, the, my training there was excellent and I felt good. Tom Farrell of the United States is in lane eight on the far outside. Beside Farrell in lane seven is Dieter Frum of East Germany. In lane six is Wilson Kiprigit of Kenya. In the semifinal, Dubell defeated Kiprigit by a tenth of a second. Kiprigit immediately goes into the lead, followed by Benedict Cayenne representing Trinidad Tobago. They stay that way through the stretch for the first time around. With a little more than 400 meters to go, it is Kiprigit in the lead, followed by Cayenne. Frum of East Germany is third, and Dubell fourth on the outside. Around the turn and into the backstretch, Kiprigit remains in front. Dubell moves from fourth to second. Down the backstretch for the last time, it is still Kiprigit Kenya first, Ralph Dubell Australia second. Kiprigit is first into the final turn, followed by Dubell. Dubell, Australia first. Kiprigit, Kenya second. Farrell, United States third. Kiprigit was really tough to get past. I think it took, it took 50 yards in the first 50 yards of the straight. I was still yelling to myself, you know, push, push, go harder and go harder. And then the sort of the break comes and you feel it and you, you just break contact. It may only be a foot or two feet. I knew I'd, I was past and I knew I'd broken contact and I didn't think I could lose it then. So I started you know, just yelling to myself, you know, I've won it, I've won it. You cross the line and say, well, that's nice, I've won it. And you sort of stand around wondering what to do next. <laughs> 